tomorrow after school. <laughs> Wanna go? Great shot, Caillou. Thanks, Daddy. I'm going to be the best soccer player ever. Just don't forget us when you become a big star. Great job, Caillou! We'll need some of that for the championship game next week to help us win the trophy. Well, Caillou, you just need to keep trying, and maybe next time she'll score. But I want to win. And you can, Caillou. But the only way to do that is to work together as a team. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let's go, Caillou! Yay, Caillou! Championship trophy goes to Greenwood. <laughs> All right, Caillou, I'll be back in a minute. Make sure you get nice and clean. Okay, Mommy. Good luck on your mission, Captain Caillou. What's your name? Uh, uh, hi, I'm Caillou. Oh, legend tells of a great explorer by the name of Caillou. Really? Oh, yes. It says that he is the one to find the lost treasure and return it to us. Wow. Will you help us, great Caillou? You got it. Let's find that treasure.
could it be, Va? Come on, let's find out. Okay, ready? One, two, three! We did it! <laughs> yeah! <gasps> hey, what's that? It's a shark! Are you all cleaned up? Uh, almost! Good. So there's still some time for Captain Caillou to sail the seas. <laughs> it was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set. Go! Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. Dropped his egg. <gasps> Caillou tried and tried to keep his egg steady, but he couldn't do it. You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Caillou, zoom! <laughs> Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you. Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Caillou. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look what I got. Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right, what's next? Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> hey, Caillou, look what's just arrived. A package! What is it? Is it for me? It's for all of us, Caillou. Come into the kitchen and I'll show you. Okay. Mommy, look! A man brought us a package. How 
exciting! I wonder what it could be. Want to help me open it? I can do that. What is it? It's a pasta making machine. Pasta? Like spaghetti? <laughs> yes, we can make all kinds of pasta shapes. I know. Why don't we pretend we're running our own Italian restaurant? Yay! Can we invite Grandma and Grandpa? Great idea, Caillou. We can do a pasta and pizza's evening. Grandpa loves pizza. First, the pasta. We need eggs and pasta flour and a pinch of salt. There. Now, Caillou, slowly put the flour into this big bowl. <coughs> Caillou, that's why I said slowly. <laughs> Okay, now the eggs. Tap them on the side of the bowl like this and pull the shell apart. Great job, Caillou. Me do, me do. Rosie, you've messed it up. Don't worry, Caillou. Maybe Rosie will be better at helping with the pizza dough. Now, Caillou, mix the eggs into the flour. It can be a bit messy, but that's okay. Now we have to knead our dough. That means move it around, stretch it, and press it until it's smooth. This is hard work. My arms hurt. Why don't we take a rest? We can make a menu if you like. Look, Mommy! Rosie has drawn some spaghetti! Well done, Rosie. Let's go and show Daddy. Daddy, look at the menu we made! Wow, that looks amazing. The pictures look good enough to eat. Okay, Caillou, I'll hold the pasta and you can turn the handle. Wow, look, I'm making spaghetti. It looks delicious. Now for the pizzas. Here are the toppings. First, spread the tomato sauce on the pizza. Next, a good sprinkling of cheese. Look, it's snowing cheese! And now the best bit. Make a face. Look, Grandpa, we made a menu! This looks great! I think I'll have pizza and spaghetti. They both look so delicious. Me too. Mm. Look, everyone. My pizza has got curly hair and a curly beard, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caillou. Tell us about your weekend. What did you get up to? Well, we were having a barbecue. Mommy and Daddy went to the store and bought all kinds of stuff to cook. Burgers, hot dogs, even the vegetables look tasty. But me and my friends needed to work up an appetite. Slip and slide! Oh, <laughs> 
It's time to eat. What the oh! Everyone, this is Alex. Now, it can be very scary to start at a new school, so let's all try and make him feel welcome, okay? Why don't you take a seat, Alex? Quiet today, Caillou. How was school? It was okay. Hmm. Hmm. Not hungry, Caillou? I thought spaghetti was your favorite. Spaghetti! Caillou, Daddy is talking to you. Hello? Earth to Caillou? Are you in there? I don't want spaghetti, Daddy! scared Rosie, Caillou. Uh, I know. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just got really mad. Well, why don't you tell me what made you so mad? Uh, it's just... There's a new kid at school, and I just wanted to be his friend, but he pushed me, and it hurt, and I don't know why he was so mean. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Caillou. I understand why that would make you angry. Uh, I didn't mean to be angry at Rosie. Uh, I'm just scared. That's okay. Rosie will understand if you apologize. That's what's most important. Caillou? Sorry I scared you, Rosie. It isn't nice to be scared. Let's get it! Great idea, Rosie. Let's go down and finish our dinner. What if Alex is mean again, Daddy? I'm going to come in and we'll speak to Mrs. Martin about it together, okay? Remember, if anyone is ever mean to you, you can always tell your teacher. Okay. Good morning, Caillou. Hi, Mrs. Martin. I... I need to tell you that... Hey, Caillou. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Alex. I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry for pushing you yesterday. It's just really scary being at a new school. And I didn't mean to be mean, but I'd really like to be your friend, if you'll still let me. That's okay. Sometimes when I get scared, I mean by accident, too. Really? Yeah. But my daddy says the important thing is to say sorry. Mm. Mm. Come on, Caillou. You don't want Alex to be late on his second day, do you? Coming! Come on, you can meet Leo and Clementine before class! Hmm. Hey, Leo! Wanna build a sandcastle? Sure! You know, every good castle should have a moat. What's a moat? A moat is a lake that wraps around a castle, protecting it from invaders. Oh! You need to dig nice and deep so that you reach wet sand. This will ensure the moat keeps its shape. That is a fine castle, Caillou. Now, just you wait. For what? That! Wow! Cool! <laughs> there, now you have a castle that can keep out any <gasps> unwanted visitors. <gasps> hey, Caillou, how about a game of Frisbee? Yeah! Go on, Caillou, but don't run too far. I think I need to lie down. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a better idea, Leo. <laughs> Try that, Caillou! Can we, Mommy? 
You go have fun, Caillou. But careful you don't go too far out. Hop on! It's coming! Careful not to drink the seawater, Caillou. It doesn't taste very nice. But these slushies... Slushies! My favorite! Caillou, you rascal! <laughs> <laughs> not so fast, Caillou. understands you're playing a game. But he's the dragon, Mommy. He wants to eat Teddy and all our spaghetti. I've got an idea. Why don't you ask Rexy if he'd like to join in and play the part of the dragon? That's a great idea, Mommy. There. Rexy is much more like a dragon. <gasps> oh no! This dragon's even bigger! We did it! 
Mr. Teddy and our spaghetti are safe. I thought you brave knights deserved a treat. Thanks, Mommy. Another dragon! <laughs> this is Gilbert, and he's a very friendly cat. Aren't you, Gilbert? And see, he likes eating ice cream, not Teddy's. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me, Grandma! <laughs> well done, Caillou! What's the matter, Caillou? That boy on the skateboard reminded me of when I had an accident, Grandma. Do you want to tell me about it? It might make you feel better. It was when I had a skateboard from Leo for my birthday. I couldn't wait to try it out, but Mommy said I had to wait until we got the special knee and wrist pads. Did you need a helmet too, Caillou? Yes, but I already had my bike helmet. I was too excited to wait, so I put my bike helmet on and went into the garden. I took the skateboard to the top of the path and tried to go a bit faster. The wheel hit a stone and the skateboard threw me off. I put my hand out and I bumped my wrist on the ground. What did you do? I was crying and holding my arm, and I went to find Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Caillou, what's the matter? Did you hurt your wrist? <laughs> I fell off my skateboard! <laughs> Caillou, I told you to wait. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's go and get you fixed up. Mommy had to take me to the doctor who told me that I had sprained my wrist. That's not broken, but it still really hurt, Grandma. I know it hurts, Caillou. I sprained my wrist once, too. Will you want a skateboard, too, Grandma? <laughs> no, Caillou. I slipped on some ice. Did you have a sling, like me? Yes, Caillou. I had to keep my arm resting in a sling for a few weeks until it was better. Thanks, Grandma. I feel better now. Have you used your skateboard again, Caillou? <gasps> no, Grandma. I'm too scared about falling off. But if you wear all your safety gear, you can practice and you won't hurt yourself if you fall. <gasps> Oh, that looks so much fun. I wish I was your age, Caillou. I definitely want to learn to skateboard. Gosh, my arms are tired. I must have pushed Rosie on that swing 100 times. Why don't we all have a banana and then we'll have some more energy? So, Caillou, what were you telling Grandma about? About when I fell off my skateboard and hurt my wrist. It's made Caillou scared of skateboarding again. But it does look so much fun. Yes, it does. When I was a young boy, I had a pair of roller skates. I fell over a lot, but I kept practicing until I could skate without falling over. It was my favorite thing to do. Maybe you should give it another go, Caillou. Yes, I think I will. But I'm going to wear all the special pads this time. When Caillou got home, he dressed in his helmet, knee pads, and wrist guards. Go, Caillou! Oh, Caillou, are you okay? 
fine, Mommy. My guards worked. Try again, Caillou. You almost had it. <sighs> It was just another day at school. Or so Caillou thought. All of a sudden, Caillou felt a pain in his mouth. Caillou's tooth had come loose. Guys, guys, look! My tooth is wobbling! Wow, Caillou, you'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy soon. Huh? The Tooth Fairy, Caillou? Whenever you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the Tooth Fairy comes and leaves something special underneath in its place. <gasps> no, Caillou, don't do that. It'll fall out on its own. <sighs> it seemed Caillou would just have to be patient. With that, Caillou decided to wait, but he was so excited for the rest of the day, he could barely concentrate in class. Later that day, after school, Caillou skipped out of the gate to meet Grandma. He couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy about his Aww. loose tooth. That's great, Caillou. Let's take a look. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that looks almost ready to come out. But not yet. Uh, Caillou waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited. Until suddenly, his tooth fell out. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, it came out! My tooth came out! That's great, Caillou. So when will the Tooth Fairy come? Well, first you need to put your tooth under your pillow or she won't know to come and visit. Oh, right, I forgot. We'll all go up together. Okay now, Caillou, place it carefully under your pillow. And let's see in the morning what the Tooth Fairy brings you. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Mommy and Daddy. Caillou sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes <gasps> widened as he remembered what lay waiting beneath his pillow. Just then, Caillou noticed something from the corner of his eye. Something glowed in the corner of his bedroom. It was the Tooth Fairy. Well, hello, Caillou. I hear you've lost a tooth. Have you been taking good care of your teeth? <laughs> Where do you take all the teeth, Tooth Fairy? Why, back to Fairyland, of course. We use them to build our fairy castle bigger and bigger. Wow. Oh, good night, Tooth Fairy. Good night, Caillou. I'll take good care of your tooth. Don't forget to check your pillow when you wake up. Caillou had the strangest dream. Remembering suddenly, Caillou sat bolt upright and threw his pillow to the side. <gasps> Under his pillow was a shiny silver quarter and a note. Dear Caillou, Thank you for keeping your tooth so clean. Love from 